Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and we're back with another review. Today, we're doing a little something special. We're taking a look at, from the Age of Extinction line, Power Battlers Junk Heap. And from the Transformers Adventures line, this is Junkion. Um, Junkion is a repaint of Junk Heap, and uh, incidentally, a lot easier to find than Junk Heap. Both transform from robot to garbage truck. In Junk Heap's case, this is a licensed waste management vehicle. This is how basically how they do look in uh, the United States. You have the waste management logo right there. It's on uh, both sides. And they're basically green and white garbage trucks. Um, Junk Heap, its colors, I'm sorry, uh, Junkion, its color scheme is uh, based on, I've heard how the Japanese garbage trucks look, blue and white, but it's not an officially licensed vehicle, so it has different markings, which we'll see when we get to its vehicle mode. Both um, figures do have a action feature, which was the hallmark of the Power Battlers line. Pressing the white button here activates a capture claw, which, you know, on the rear of a garbage truck. That kind of makes sense. That's the where you put the garbage in and it crushes it. Very nice, very fun. A smooth button press. Nothing really gets jammed. And in robot mode, it's on the robot's chest, so as you can see, it works the same way. Now in Junkian's case, it does have the um, special sticker that you can scan with the uh, Transformers app to unlock uh, Junkion in the video game. I don't have the game, I don't have the app, so I don't know um, if this will work on American phones. Um, as you can see, basically here on the rear, the detailing is silver gray on yellow on Junk Heap, whereas on Junkion, it's blue and silver with a very faint neon pink wash and that's actually something kind of cool as we can uh, come in a little you might uh, it's a little bright to make it out but there is that neon pink uh, there around the knees and uh, there on the shoulders and as well as uh, detailing here on the face um, as you'll see with Junk Heap um, its robot mode is very uh, sparsely decorated. Let's take a look at the transformation. Being a power battler, um, one of the bragging rights is that this mold is very easy to transform. First thing you want to do is come in, uh, detach the cab from what will be the robot mode arms. There are tabs here that peg into the backs of the forearms, as well as tabs on either side that peg in on the underside of these panels. Um, you might have to fiddle with it to uh, get it to stay, but you know we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, the torso and hips are on a double hinge, so as you bring this forward, you want to push in on that double hinge so you can bring it up flush, just like so. Um, there is no click or anything. It's it's a it's a friction uh, tab, well uh, a friction lock, so you won't hear it, but you'll feel it as it collapses into place. Uh, next, what you want to do is come in and swing around these panels. This will reveal the rest of the arms. They tab in on the side here. Uh, again, friction. Although on uh, Junkion, on this arm, it does there is a click. But it's uh, basically meant to be just friction. So you can bring the arms down. Go ahead, flip around this panel. This will reveal the head. And then separate the legs. And in doing so... Uh, angle what was the cabs out to form the feet uh, so you can stand in a proper A stance. Um, here, like I said, junk heap, not a lot of uh, new decoration or colors. There is a little bit of yellow up here in the face, as you can see. Um, you know, articulation, it, the, I, I would actually put this a close second to Galvatron if you're looking for an articulated power battler does have universal shoulders, no elbow articulation. Um, outside of the lateral leg 
movement, which is really just for transformation, believe it or not, there is a knee bend. But since there's no forward or back leg movement, it's rather pointless. And the feet are just there um, to um, angle down to give you a more wider stance. Okay, to transform back into vehicle mode, what you want to go ahead and do is bring the legs together and peg them together at the feet. You know, doing so will straighten the feet out. Go ahead, um, bring the arms forward, just like so. Um, flip the head back around, and then detach the arms from the panels here. Uh, there is a little notch here. You want to make sure that goes over the panel the head was on, just like so. As you just heard, you uh, the uh, on this arm, the uh, tab detaching, you did get that little click. So basically just make sure everything's straight like that. Then come down here and unaccordion the uh, hips and uh, ab section, bring it up. And then basically what you want to do is uh, finagle everything so it pegs in to place. Um, basically, it, it does tab in there, but I've noticed that really the forms just rest on those pegs in the uh, feet. And um, here you have a uh, junkie on in uh, vehicle mode. Uh, as you can see, it just has the a little eco clean logo. But what's nice is, and let's see if I can really bring this in and show you. Um, very faint. It's not very detailed, but that is a Decepticon logo in the O of Eco. And that is on both sides. You do have one Decepticon logo here on the um, side of the cab. Also, um, both uh, Junk Heap and Junkion have that little magnetic post, which this can interact with... Um, uh, the uh, um, the Optimus Prime with the uh, this base that you can launch, uh, attach the uh, one step and uh, power battlers to Battle Command Optimus Prime. Ooh, almost forgot that. And for Junkie, uh, you can attach the uh, to the giant Grimlock one step changer. That's about it. You know, both vehicles roll quite nicely. Um, it's a kind of a nice looking garbage truck mode. I mean, if you look from the top down, yes, it does have um, the um, techno organic arm sticking out of it, but it is what it is. Junk Heap and Junkion are fun power battlers. When I first got uh, Junk Heap, I spent a lot of time just playing with the. Uh, gimmick here because it's like I said it's unobtrusive doesn't jam and works quite nicely unfortunately as I mentioned at the beginning junk keep is a little hard to find while Hasbro was committed to bringing out every single age of extinction toy that final wave of power battlers um, from what I have seen online was stuck in a refreshment case and a lot of stores didn't pick it up and in some assortments, only Viacon and High Octane Bumblebee were included, and Junk Heap was in a different assortment with only uh, High Octane Bumblebee and not Viacon. From what I've seen thus far, you cannot get a case that had Junk Heap, Viacon, and High Octane Bumblebee, thus making um, all three figures very hard to find, but Junk Heap the hardest to find of all. In that regard, it goes for about $80 on eBay, which I think is just too much money to pay for a figure that's less than a year old and is as simplistic as Junkie. Junkie on, on the other hand, I actually kind of like the blue and white color scheme a bit more. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have any attachment to waste management. They're not my, they don't handle the garbage in my area of uh, the country. So, you know, and. I just feel that like things peg together a little bit better on uh, Junkie. I'm sorry, Junkie on. Maybe it's just uh, the nature of the uh, beast. But um, 
this also happens to go for about $10, dollars $12 on stores like Big Bad Toy Store, which is obviously a major price difference and actually cheaper than what um, power battlers were going for during Age of Extinction. So if you live outside the United States, importing this figure from Japan actually run you about the same or a little bit less than what it would be to get a power battler domestically. And you get the extra paint and pizzazz of a uh, Takara figure. One thing I do want to mention is there was a covering over this uh, part of the figure. I guess to cover up the QR code because people in videos can somehow scan it. And that's on all the Transformer Adventure figures. It's not a sticker, but it's it's a label on a plastic covering that just fits right over. And it's like every single one, if, it's, if the label is visible in packaging, will have it. So it, it doesn't do anything. It just covers it up so you can't have people walking into the stores and scanning them like they're doing in the United States. So all in all, so just to recap, get Junkion over Junk Heap. It's a better looking figure at a much lower price. This is your old pal Chuck, Junk Heap, and Junkion. We'll see you next time.